So a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. And why is it that one promise to yourself is just too much to keep? Are we all indecisive? Are we all just lazy? Why can't we keep one simple stinking promise to ourselves? On the surface, it seems like a really simple thing to keep a promise, but underneath, there's just a lot of complexity to it. We have a conscious mind and we have a subconscious mind. The subconscious is all the stuff about ourselves that we are not really looking at. We're not ready to see it. We don't want to see it. Some people have the best traits hidden in there. I know, what's their problem? Other people have, of course, their worst traits. They don't want to see themselves as the bad guy. We all want to be the hero of our own story. So if your subconscious is fighting with your conscious mind, this is exactly why you can't make a New Year's resolution for yourself. Your subconscious doesn't want to. It says, hell no, I don't like that idea. And you knew I didn't like that idea and you did it anyway. I'm gonna get you back. Your conscious mind drops the ball because it's thinking about a thousand and one things and after New Year's is over, this is not top priority. So maybe you'll get two weeks into your New Year's resolution and then you'll just kind of forget about it. It goes nowhere. So using astrology, how can we break down the conscious mind and the subconscious mind? Well, in the spiritual world, they have something called mind, body, and soul. It's a pyramid. The three different areas of our human experience. This is always lacking the fourth quadrant. Mind, body, spirit, and identity. And the identity is the earthly consciousness. This is who we think we are. This is your name. This is your bank account. This is your job. This is the clothes you're wearing. This is the haircut you have. It's your reputation. It's the story of who you are. It's the foundation that you have built in this life. This can also be seen as your midheaven in astrology. And while we're more than willing to go on a retreat for the weekend and get in touch with our mind, body, and spirit, during the weekday, we forget all about that. We are completely consumed with that fourth quadrant, which is that identity. It's really cool because you can link these to the elements. Spirit is water, identity is earth, body is fire, and mind is air. If you've ever lost somebody really important to you that is part of the foundation of who you are, then you know what it is to have to alter your identity. Most people through life never go out seeking to like throw away their career, destroy all their possessions in a big bonfire, rewrite the stories of their childhood. But sometimes this is thrown upon us when we have a parent that dies or a sister or a brother, somebody that was at the core foundation of the way we saw ourselves. I know this is getting kind of heavy when you just thought this was a nice New Year's resolution video. You should know me better by now. <laughs> All right, so I did lose somebody that was extremely integral to my life, so this is why I speak from experience. When this happened, I asked for advice from different people. One of the people, she didn't seem on the outside to be like a spiritual guru or anything, but she's a mother of two. And her children are grown up now and they still love her and talk to her and her husband still loves her. So I figured she's kind of a superhero, you know, if she can keep those two things going after all those years. So I asked her what her experience was when she lost her mother. And she said, it's as if there's a garden inside of your head. And in that garden, there's a centerpiece. It's like a fountain or a statue or something. And when you lose that centerpiece, you have to completely redo the garden. <laughs> And I thought this was really a cool way to describe it. That garden is your identity. And people tend to have the identity as the part of themselves that is most stable, and then mind, body, and spirit circle around those things. Of course, this doesn't go for everybody because if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, then your identity can be kind of fluid, and so you know exactly what I'm talking about here. And you've probably known this since childhood. But for the rest of us knuckleheads, to get things really in balance, I've always seen it not as this pyramid, but trying to get the square in perfect balance. My identity is not more important than my spirit. My identity is not more important than my body. And I'm not willing to destroy any of those other three parts to keep my identity. The identity needs to be a fluid thing that changes and ebbs and flows. But that's the hardest part because it is earth. So earth is a foundation, it's a structure, it's the skeleton. So how do you get the skeleton to ebb and flow and change through life in a more rhythmic process? I think I have a solution here. In each of these quadrants, there is the adventure, which is one side of the coin, 
And there is the security, which is the other side of the coin. For instance, if somebody seeks to be really adventurous with their body, they might go on triathlons, climb Mount Everest, really push their body to its limits. If somebody wants security in their spirit, then they would believe in one religion, one idea, never change their mind on that, and put it in stone. If somebody was seeking to put their identity into a secure vault, like most people do, I think, they would obsess about their job. They would obsess about their status. They would obsess about the way that the world views them. If you are going to be adventurous with your mind, then you would be researching constantly. You would be looking at all these different articles. You would be wanting to go to school. You might have 10 degrees. You'd be constantly learning. So see how that works? To get all these things in perfect balance so that your subconscious isn't just running around acting all crazy like thing one and thing two, each quadrant needs to have that perfect balance of adventure and security, that dead center spot on each of the quadrants. If you're too adventurous in one area, that's what is called reckless. If you're too secure in one area, then that becomes boring, rigid, stuck in a comfort zone. If all four of these quadrants are in perfect balance, then your New Year's resolution will not only be the resolution you should be making, which is difficult in and of itself to know exactly what you need, but you will be able to reach it. 100% accuracy. Mind, body, spirit, identity, in a perfect balance between adventure and security. Another example, let's imagine that somebody in their identity does not want to change. They had a goal and ambition when they were 10 years old and they're gonna stick to it no matter what happens. They aren't happy, but that's not as important as reaching their goal and winning that Oscar or whatever it is. Okay, their subconscious is bored. You know, they need to be a little reckless because they are so far to this side, being so conservative and being so rigid. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna take one of those other quadrants, mind, body, spirit, and they're gonna throw it out of whack this direction. So maybe in their spirit, their relationships, their emotion, they will be reckless. They will almost try to just break up their marriage. They will just say things that are really hurtful to people out of nowhere. Or with their body, they might be adventurous, reckless, where they're drinking past its limit and they don't know why they can't stop drinking. I hope at this point, a little light bulb, bing, has gone in your head. Isn't that cool? I need to make a graph. Hopefully I do make a graph. I'm making this video before I've made a graph, so we'll see if I end up making a graph. So before making a New Year's resolution, take an inventory of your mind, body, spirit, and identity. Write down how far in the adventurous realm versus the security realm, what percentage you are in each of those quadrants, and see where you need to change things. Once you do this, any New Year's resolution that you make will be from the right mindset. It will be amazingly easy to pull off. All right, guys, happy holidays. See you back for the next video.